Hey guys, this is Jeanette with Anderson Alchemy and I'm here to give you your tarot reading for the month of November 2017 for the sign of Libra. So if you have a Libra sun, rising, or moon sign, then this is going to be for you. Also want to let you know that I'm currently taking um, bookings for 2018 uh, yearly forecast. So if you want a tarot forecast or an astrology forecast for next year, you want to find out what you know what's going to be coming up for you, definitely reach out. You can get my email below. It's blessedinfinity at gmail.com or you can book a session on my website, innocentalchemy.com and um, we can go from there. Please subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate your support and also like and comment below if the reading resonates with you. And if you haven't found me on social media yet, please do check me out on Instagram and Facebook at Inner Sun Alchemy. All right, so let's get into your reading. Now, with some of the other signs, I uh, was shuffling on camera and then um, all of that, but then something happened when I was recording your video, so wasn't able to do that this time, but that's okay. You can always check your... Um, other two signs, you know, whether it's rising or, or moon and, and see, hopefully one of those will have me shuffling so you can see how I get the cards out. But let's go with your overall energy for the month Libra. I personally am a Libra rising. So, and I, to me, uh, when I do astrology readings, um, I see the rising sign as a sign that really tells you your destiny and the things that, um, you don't necessarily have control over and the sun sign to me is kind of your experience and how you navigate it so um i'm interested to see what's coming up for me <laughs> all right so in overall energy you have the six of cups here okay so six of cups is a really beautiful energy and it's nice to have that predominant throughout the month because it speaks to soul connections um, soul ties, feeling really good, feeling really balanced. Cups always have to deal with emotions, prosperity, spirituality. So this is a really beautiful and balanced energy. But what I love about it, again, is it's not isolated. It's it's an energy that you find in communion or in connection with others. Um, and it does speak, to, it is actually, um, can be read as a soulmate card. And that's not necessarily a relationship, but it does speak to soul groups and that's something that i did find coming up in some of the other readings is and then just in general too in my my work with spirit and what's been coming through there are a lot of soul groups that are reuniting right now um you know whether in past lives here on this planet um star families higher levels angels what have you but there's a lot of reunion that's happening so that's going to continue for you this month libra now, in your first house, which is a house related to your sense of self and also how others perceive you, you have the Four of Pentacles. So the Four of Pentacles is, it can be seen in a lot of different ways. Um, what I'm really getting through, getting for you guys is a sense of stasis. I mean, all fours are stable energies because, you know, there's no, there's no wobbling. It's like the, the four legs of a table. So you're, you're stable for sure. But it feels more like stasis, like you're you're being held in, or you're choosing, because this is you know a personal force, not a major arcana for, but you're choosing to be in a place of stasis, but in a place of power though, because you see all this red here, and you see the card is really clear, so you're thinking clearly, and you are in a place of power because the positions of power at your feet, your heart, your head, you're crowned literally by this pentacle. It's a great energy for you. Now, in terms of how others might perceive you, though, they may perceive you as being maybe on defensive or just kind of to yourself, maybe not as sociable as you normally are, because Libra is a social sign. It's an air sign. But, you know, if you need to be in your center and in your own space and kind of pull back a bit, then, you know, go ahead and do so. I know the last few months have has been especially expansive for all of the cardinal signs. So Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. And you may really just kind of need a breather right now while you reassess um, and, you know, think about how you're going to, to move forward. Now, in your fourth house, which is the house related to your home, emotional well-being, security, and family, you have the nine 
or sorry, excuse me, the Ten of Swords. Oh my goodness, <laughs> you have the Ten of Swords. So, okay, Ten of Swords is a tough card, right? And a lot of times if you've, you know, somewhat familiar with tarot, you know that this card can talk to being stabbed in the back and having to deal with the ramifications of that. But tens also do, especially in this context, it speaks to the end of a cycle. And with it being here in this fourth house and, and kind of what I'm picking up with this soul group thing is you may be going through a process of deep healing this month, Libra. And you may be finally ending cycles that have been going on for years in this life or millennia in past lives. Okay? And if that's the case, that's amazing because that means that these cords are getting cut. Notice that these are all in the back, all in the spine. So these are all the attachments. This is the last of it. You're going to see all of it. And you're going to get have a chance to really just like get rid of it and maybe that's why you're kind of like sitting in your own powers being stable in the midst of this kind of emotional or foundational restructuring that may be happening okay uh, now on the surface level if it's not that deep spiritually for you this may just be some tough issues that you're having with family members right now okay uh, maybe you're having fights with family maybe you're choosing to leave home because it's just become too much and you are done Maybe this is that month when you say no more. All right, in your seventh house, you have the hangman. And this is a major arcana. This card speaks to having to surrender to the timing and the pacing of the universe and also seeing new perspectives. So this can come across in two ways for you in, in relationships with others. This may be you uh, choosing to hold off on dating if you're single and just kind of take a break. Or if you're with someone, um, maybe the honeymoon uh, phase is over and you're just kind of like in that, that phase of like, okay, let's really kind of get into the work of it. That may be that energy here. Again, this may be you not really feeling the need to be out socializing as much, especially since it's uh, mirroring this four of pentacles here. That may be a case for you. Or in existing relationships, if they're uh, with family or even just friends or partnerships, you may be asked to have a different perspective in how you are showing up or what's actually happening. Maybe you've been in denial Maybe boundaries have been crossed and you're being asked to actually see that and come to terms with that and to say, hey, no. Or maybe you're the one who needs to shift. It's a lot of ways that that can play out, but um, something is going to be seen and be addressed here because spirit is not letting whatever this area it's, it's um, affecting um, uh, be glossed over because <laughs> it's you know major arcana there, right? Now, in your 10th house, which is a house related to career, you have a Fool card, which is a major arcana. So this speaks to a new beginning. And so you know what? Especially given that this is mirroring this fourth house energy of the 10 of Wands, this, uh, excuse me, the 10 of um, Swords, this really may be a new beginning for you emotionally in you uh, moving on. And um, if this is that spiritual work that you're doing, Maybe with all of the, um, the clearing and the healing that you're doing really does set you off on the new leg of your spiritual journey. That really may be the, the finishing of that, that cycle. Now, if this is career, this could be a job opportunity coming through for you, business opportunity. This could be a new mentor coming in. This could be uh, you saying yes to a new business contract, a new partnership. You have fresh eyes. And since this is a major arcana, this is something that is happening for you. you you're not having to um, to manage this or to, to make this happen, okay? So two key areas of your life, your relationships and your purpose are really being handled by the divine right now. So that's amazing. In the center, you have the seven of wands. So this is what your soul's objective or drive purpose is for the month. This is all about holding boundaries, and more importantly, holding your standards high, which really just means holding your standards true. Holding your standards true. 
true to you, true to your passion, true to your heart. And holding the higher ground if there are issues in relationships, if there is stuff going on at home or you know, romantic partners or what have you, holding your higher ground because your reputation precedes you, especially as a Libra, especially as Libra. People do business with you as a person, okay? So hold your ground, stay true to you. Great reading, guys, okay? Overall, it looks like it's really good. Um, let me actually get the camera up a little bit. Overall, it looks really good. There does seem to be, like there might be a um, little bit of toughness there um, if it is actually showing up in other relationships with folks, but if this is more personal in terms of spiritual growth and um, healing and all that kind of thing, I think you're actually going to be okay or you're going to feel like you've move through cut final cords and um you should feel then by the time we get into that december energy which is that uh, sagittarian energy and a little bit of that capricorn that you feel more on on solid ground yay <laughs> all right guys so thank you so much for watching like i said if you want to book a um a reading with me whether just in general or you want to get a heads up on finding out what 2018 has in store for you please do reach out. You can find my contact info below. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, like and share, and follow me on social media, Facebook and Instagram. And I'll see you next month, okay? Bye.